The reign of the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia today is famously known for widespread brutality and horrifying punishment. In this video, we are going to feature some of the most brutal punishments used during their regime. Under the reign of the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia, execution was a common sight and brutal punishment was a daily routine as it was inflicted upon thousands of individuals. Anyone who was perceived as enemies, intellectuals, and those who were seen as threats to the regime were targeted. These victims were eradicated and faced swift and brutal deaths through various types of punishments. Some of them include shootings, beatings, and killings with blunt objects. During the reign of the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia, torture was used as a means of interrogation and control. These interrogations could go as brutal as they get. Interrogation centers were created at locations where prisoners had to endure unspeakable horrors. They were subjected to a range of torture methods designed to break their soul and inflict excruciating pain to extract confessions or information. Things like electric shocks, waterboarding, severe beatings, and other sadistic techniques were common on the roster used to break the spirit of the prisoners and keep them submissive. But it wasn't only about concessions and interrogation, but also to ensure the regime's dominance through psychological and physical torment. Under the Khmer Rouge, the commoners restricted their rights if they had them. Forced labor was imposed as a cornerstone of their agrarian socialist ideology. People were forcibly taken into labor camps and made to work in harsh and sometimes dangerous conditions. They were treated like animals and subjected to long hours of agricultural labor, often in rice fields or other agricultural projects, and they were forced to undertake demanding construction projects. The regime had the notion that they were reshaping society through collectivization and self-sufficiency. But the results were devastating. Many lost their lives to exhaustion, malnutrition, and harsh working conditions, resulting in widespread suffering and death. Forced labor was not only a means of economic productivity, but also a tool of control, ensuring compliance and quashing any dissent against the regime. The Khmer Rouge had radical policies such as forced collectivization, and they tried to break the traditional agricultural practices, causing widespread famine and starvation. The population in their reign faced severe food shortages, as the regime was keen on agricultural production, but only for export and had implemented misguided policies. People were forced to relocate from cities to rural areas, where they had to live in harsh conditions and limited access to food. This was all done on purpose, and the deprivation of food led to malnutrition, weakened immune systems, and the spread of diseases. Those days, it was normal for individuals to die from hunger and starvation-related illnesses, resulting in a devastating loss of life and immense suffering throughout Cambodia. The Khmer Rouge's reign was also marked by mass killings conducted in extermination sites, fittingly referred to as the Killing Fields. Countless victims, including enemies, intellectuals, and individuals associated with the previous regime, were subjected to horrific violence as a form of practice. They were beaten to death, bludgeoned, and, uh, and bludgeoned with objects, or executed through mass shootings without a single care. The regime had little regard for human life, and the bodies were left discarded in mass graves. These mass killings not only resulted in the loss of a significant number of lives, but also left a lasting scar on the collective memory of Cambodia. Cruelty during that period in Cambodia were not limited to punishments but also to random acts of forced evictions. People were made to leave their house with social engineering as the reason. This brutal policy aimed to create an agrarian society devoid of urban influence. The forced evictions resulted in immense suffering and countless deaths as a lot of people didn't comply with their commands. Stripped of their possessions and familiar surroundings, these people were thrust into harsh agricultural labor without adequate resources or support. With people not a question to the farm life, many succumbed to exhaustion, exposure to the elements, and malnutrition, further exacerbating the immense human tragedy inflicted by the Khmer Rouge regime. The Khmer regime invested in a network of detention and torture centers was established across Cambodia. These centers, such as Tol Slang S21, were commonplace for the offenders to be taken to extract confessions, suppress dissent, and maintain control through fear and intimidation. Prisoners were subjected to horrors, brutal tortures, and were made to endure extreme physical and psychological torture. They were beaten with no mercy and subjected to the torture and asphyxiation and exposed to psychological torment designed to break their spirits. The goal was to extract information, enforce obedience, and eliminate perceived threats to the regime. Countless individuals suffered and perished within these torture centers, leaving a legacy of pain and trauma that still echoes through Cambodian society today. These brutal punishments were part of the Khmer Rouge's campaign to maintain control, eliminate perceived enemies, and reshape Cambodian society according to their ideological vision. 
The atrocities committed during this period resulted in the deaths of an estimated 1.7 million people, making it one of the darkest chambers in Cambodia's history. What do you think about the Khmer Rouge regime? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friend and subscribe for more.